All praises to the Most High. All right. Whether they had best show their inclination or the design of their coming to man, so or no. This also was answered in the negative because of the weight that was in their former reasons to wit. For that man, so were a strong people, a strong people in a strong town whose walls and gates were impregnable to say nothing of their castles, nor can they by any means be won by their own consent, besides said legion. So who's legion? Let's go to our Bible in Mark 5 and 9. He and he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is legion, for we are many. So 200,000 angels fell, not 200, okay? Now, Beelzebub, Matthew 12 and 24. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of devils. Okay? Now, let's go back in here. So, besides said legion, for he gave answer to this, A discovery of our intentions may make them send to their king, the Most High, for aid. And if that be done, I know what time of the day it will be with us. Therefore, let us assault them in all pretended fairness, covering our intentions with all manner of lies, flatteries, delusive words, fringing things that may that will never be, and promising that to them which they shall never find. This is the way to win man's soul and to make them willingly open their gates to us, yeah, and desire us also to come into them to have sex with you. Now, the reason why I think that this project will do is because the people of Mansell are now everyone simple and innocent. That means you're dumb and innocent, all honest and true. Nor do they as yet know what it is to be assaulted with fraud, guilt, and hypocrisy. They are strangers to lying and dissembling lips. Wherefore, we cannot, if thus we be disguised by them at all, be discerned. Our lies shall go for true sins, and our dissim dissimulations for upright dealings. What we promise them, they will in that believe us, especially if in all our lies and fringe words we pretend great love to them, and that our design is only their advantage and honor. Now, there was not one bit of a reply against this, for it went as current down as those, it went as current down as does the water down a steep descent. Wherefore, they go to consider of the last proposal, which was whether they had not best to give out orders to some of their company to shoot someone or more of the principal townsmen if they judged that their cause might be promoted thereby. This was carried in the affirmative that the men that was designed to be destroyed by this straight, straight, of, straight of gem was one Mr. Resistance, otherwise called Captain Resistance, and a great man in Mansell. A Captain Resistance was, and a man that the giant Diabolus and his bands more feared than they feared the whole town of Mansell besides. Now, who should be the actor to do the murder? That was the next. And the appointed one, Tisiphone, a fairy of the lake, to do it. Thus, they having ended the council of war, rose up and essayed to do as they had determined. They marched toward Mansell, but all in a matter invisible, save only one. Nor did he approach the town in his own likeliness, but under the shape and in the body of the dragon. So they drew up and sat down before Airgate, for that was the place of herring for all without the town, as Eyegate was the place for of perception. So, as I said, he came up with his train to the gate and laid his ambushment for Captain Resistance. So he came his train member witchcraft. I, I went into old books, that's what they call witchcraft. So he laid an ambush, a witchcraft for Captain Resistant within bow shot of the town. This done, the giant ascended up close to the gate and called to the town of Mansoul for audience. So Mr. 
Resist Captain Resistant is a good spirit that fights for the people. Remember the evil spirits, so you have good spirits, the heavenly spirits, light and darkness spirits, right? This done, the giant ascended up close to the gate and called to the town of Mansoul for audience, nor took he any with him but one, Ilpaz, who was his orator in all difficult matters. Now, as I said, he being come up to the gate, as the matter of those times was, sounded his trumpet for audience, and which the chief of the town of Mansoul, such as my lord innocent, my lord will be will, my lord mayor, Mr. Recorder, and Captain Resistant came down to the wall to see who was there, and what was the matter, and my lord will, will be will, when he looked over and saw who stood at the gate, demanded what he was, and wherefore he was come and why he rose the town of Mansoul with so unusual a sound. Diabolus then, as if he had been a lamb, began his oration and said, Gentlemen of the famous town of Mansoul, I am, as you may perceive, no far dweller from you, but near and one that is bound by the king to do you my homage and what service I can. Wherefore, that I may be faithful to myself and to you, I have somewhat of concern to impart unto you. Wherefore, grant me your audience and hear me patiently. And first, I will assure you, it is not myself, but you, but you, not mine, but your advantage that I seek by what I do now, what I now do, as will full will be made manifest by what I have opened my mind to you. For gentlemen, I am. To tell you the truth, come to show you how you may obtain great and ample deliverance from a bondage that unawares to yourselves you are captivated and enslaved under. And this, the town of Mansoul began to prick up its ears. And what is it? Pray, what is it? They thought. And he said, I have something to say to you concerning your king, concerning his law, and I also touching yourself, touching your king. I know he is great and potent, but yet, all that he has said to you is neither true nor yet to your advantage. It is not true, for that wherewith he has hitherto awed you shall not come to pass, though you do the thing he has forbidden. You see how he, they try to lie to God's creatures for them not to obey God? So, you know, the enemy, 